Good morning and a very good day, everyone. Welcome back again to our virtuality lab session. So for today's lab session, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to introduce to you guys about the uh, visit inspector. All right, we, we gon we're going to use the visit inspector to edit the 3D models. And how we're going to use this visit inspector and what is visit inspector? All right, so basically this wizard inspector is a visual browser or editor for the wizard or open scene graph OSG for compatible 3D models. And uh, what is the role or the responsible of this wizard inspector? All right, what we can use and also what we can do with this wizard. So basically, uh, this wizard or this inspector, we can use this to identify the sub part of the 3D models. We can view the polygon and texture information for the models. We can move, we can rotate, and we can scale the models. We can add, delete, and move node, and we can edit the model properties such as the node name, colors, lighting, and textures. And we can navigate around the models and copy that. 3D po position of point of the model and camera information. All right, so basically this is the thing that we can use the visit inspector for, but inside this video tutorials, we're going to use this visit inspector to uh, complete certain tasks where it can help you in your preparing your assignment. All right, so we will use this visit inspector to uh, to check the model scale, okay, we can know the size of your models that you find. And then we, we learn about the lighting in Inspector and also how to add the custom light and also how to adjust the light. And then at the end, we learn how to swap the textures on how to change the textures. All right, so basically this is the thing that uh, we're gonna do inside this lab session using this Wizard Inspector. First of all, how to open your wizard inspector. So if you have the wizard installed in your device or in your computer, you can open this wizard inspector by just search for inspector in your window search bar and then clicking on that wizard inspector app. All right. For example, here you click at your window search, you search for the inspector. All right, and then you find it's Wizard Seek Inspector 64 bit. So you just open that app. All right, so you will open up this uh, this software or this application of this inspector. So this is the example of the 3D models that I have, and then I will uh, add this in your uh, in my Wizard Inspector. For your case, if you have the 3D uh, that you find out there, so you may load your 3D models into this wizard inspector. All right, so this is uh, my models that I'm going to use to show an example for you guys for today's lab session. All right, so this is the grocery building. And then inside here, there are a few staff and a few items. All right, inside this grocery mart building. All right, so next, I'm going to show to you how we can uh, edit the properties inside this wizard inspector. All right, so first, let's understand about the lighting in inspector first. Lighting and shadow do not carry over from some modeling tools such as SketchUp. So we need to add the light in Inspector. And basically, we can add the light using the wizard script or can be add inside this wizard inspector or both. All right, so by default, a headlight is enabled that illuminate whatever is in front of the viewpoints. So there are three types of light that we can add using this inspector. All right, we have directional light, we have spotlight, and also point light. 
that can be at and also position anywhere in the scene. All right, so there are two types of light and how to add that light inside this inspector. So the step in adding the light is we can go to the create up here. All right, create on this uh, menu bar up here, create, and then we select the light. All right, so we have three types of light here, directional light, spotlight, or point light. So for, let's try this directional light. So the light has been added into the scene. So uh, you can use your mouse to navigate inside this wizard inspector. So you will see that this light has been added here. So you can use the tool up here. Either you want to translate, you want to rotate, or you want to scale. All right. So we need to move to translate this light to go to the place that uh, we think that you want it to be to have a direct light okay to position it in front here for example okay and then i will use the rotate tool so that is facing okay up a bit and then rotate like this all right so we have the directional light to position here so that the light is coming from this window all right so this is the directional light you see that everything inside this already become more clearer because this has the light pointing to this direction. And uh, every time you use the light, you will see that there is a properties popping up on your right panel here. All right, so the light color can be changed and also the shadows can be enabled for the light in the properties windows on your right panel here all right so if you tick on this shadow all right so it will enable the the shadows okay if you tick this the shadows And you can change the color of this light as well, all right, by choosing this on your properties here. It will be popping up this color palette for you to choose, all right. So you can choose uh, what kind of colors that you want to use. That it will be, uh, this color will represent the, the lighting, okay. You can see the changes inside here. If I choose red here, so all the light will portray the the red color light. Okay, you can change the number of intensity here. All right, this is point light, spotlight, and also point light. So you can change, depends on your type of your purpose. All right, so this is about the uh, adding the lighting. All right, so there are three types of lighting that you can choose from. All right, to change the color, to change the type, and to change the intensity, and whether you want to have the shadow or not. All right, so this is about the lighting. Beside that, we also can adjust the ambient light. So we need to click enable effect in the bottom right corner to see how ambient light will affect your, your models. 
All right, so you can go and click down here, click effects. And this drop down here, click effects. All right, so now after you click at this effect, you will see how this ambient light will affect your 3D models. So how to change this ambient light level? If you think that this color of this ambient light is too much, you can change the level of your ambient light. So first of all, you need to select the scene root node in your scene graph window. Scene graph window is here. You will see that there is a hierarchy of this material of your, uh, of your object, of your everything that you have added to your scene or your object. You scroll up here on your first one here, scene. All right, select the scene root node here, select scene. And then in your properties window on your right panel here, click on the bar next to this ambient light. All right. Click at this on the bar next to this ambient light. And then you can drag your cursor in the color box. Okay, you can change the colors of this ambient light and so on. And you can see the effects on the model of changing the ambient light or ambient color. So to store this ambient level within the file, you need to check at the safe scene setting. All right, and then you go to the file and then you save to save your model with this light. All right. So this is how you change the ambient light. All right, next is about the changing or swapping the textures. And first of all, how to browse the textures. The texture pane lists all the textures in the scene, right? For example, on my left hand side here, you will see that this is all the textures, all the textures, pictures that uh, are available and is, is used inside this scene or this 3D model. All right, all of this image are all the textures that use inside this 3D models. So if you click a texture, it will display in the viewport. All right, here is the textures. All right, all the pictures that they use to be a pictures of this uh, scene. All right, just click here and then you will see uh, all of the textures or pictures that they use to be the textures inside the scene. And inside this texture panes, is contained the following column for each texture, which is the name. This is the texture of the, the texture name, the dimension, the number of width and height dimension of the texture, the size, the memory size of the texture in kilobyte. And then it have the format here, the pixel format of the texture, whether it's RGB or RGBA and so on. And then it also have the compression if the texture is compressed, the compression format will be in the XT1, the XT3, or the XT5. And then it has the, the last one here is the anisotrophy. If enabled, so it means that the anisotrophic filter level of the textures. So uh, how to change the textures or how to swap the textures? All right, let me go back to the first scene here. Okay, so uh, we need to select the object that we want to swap the textures on, All right? For example, let's say I'm gonna change the textures of these buildings, the textures outside here. So I click at this and then on the right side here, you will see the textures that has been assigned to that object under the materials here. All right, under the materials here, material menu here in this window, you also have many other options for your materials, such as you want to have the lighting on or off, 
all right you want to have the curl face to whether you want to on or off this and then you have the colors uh, here you want to assign colors to your diffuse to specular ambient alpha and china's map so here all the illumination if you wish to change here so you can uh, change based on the next to this bar all right it will pop up this uh, color palette for you to choose from all right the alpha the shiners and so on so to change the texture just double click on the texture unit and a new window will open up all right so for example here since i want to change the texture of this building and then this is the textures inside this unit so double click on this texture unit this one double click and then it will open up the new windows so click on the folder icon here okay click on this folder icon in the top right and then navigate to your new texture for example i click here then i go and find the textures that i wish to change for example i'm gonna use this texture all right so i will select this and then click open and then you will see that your new texture is now applied to your object all right so just now i changed this building using this uh, textures okay let's say i change something else inside this building Okay, double click on this unit and then go and find the new textures. Okay, so change textures here. All right, so this is how we change the textures inside this wizard inspector.